Hey guys, we have some uh, good updates for you today. The first one is we will go over the light curve of Tabby Star for today, September 6th, and we're going to show you with fairly good confidence it looks like a new short term dimming event has just started. And secondly, we will go over the metrics for the accelerating long term dimming of Tabby Star to show you where we are currently, and we will show you a confirmation of the short term dimming event in this data set. So this is the light curve of Tabby Star taken in the R band at two observatories on opposite sides of the globe. And here is today's uh, current flux level. So we are down approximately 0.75% below nominal flux level. And we are about where we were last weekend, but this time we have a confirmation in David Lane's measurements he took on September 5th, which we will show you in a minute. So we are going out on a limb to say that this is the start of another short-term dimming event. And of course, we will keep you guys up to date as this progresses. So now we are going to give you guys an update on the accelerating long-term dimming of Tabby Star. So this chart shows the measured visual magnitude in the V-band over approximately a two-year period versus the calculated visual magnitude, which is shown by the red curve. The equation for the accelerating long-term dimming of Tabby Star is highlighted in the red box, and the last five data points are highlighted directly below. This data was taken by David Lane at the Burke Gaffney Observatory in Nova Scotia, Canada. Notice the two data points circled in red. The black data point is the V-band measurement taken on September 5th, and the red data point is the calculated and predicted V-band level for September 5th based on an accelerating long-term dimming of Tabby Star. So the measured data is approximately 0.4% below where we should be. So this is double confirmation that we may have started another short-term dimming event. And finally, what we're going to show you is a chart update of the long-term dimming. We are down approximately 4.4% since our initial conditions on November 9, 2015. And we are approximately 0.4% down from a month ago. So guys, um, I have an extra topic here. Tabby has stated that the funding for observation time on the LCO telescope has run out. So what do you guys say let's really help Tabby out and her team by donating to her new fundraising effort? I will supply a link uh, in the description box below so that will take you directly to her donation site. So let's show her the power of our members and keep this data flowing. So thank you. Uh, take care, guys, and we will see you all very soon.